Today, I'm going to show you how to become a successful woman. Did you know that 42% of all U.S. businesses are owned by women? That's 13 million women. Women-owned businesses employ over 9.4 million workers. Women are three percentage points more likely to start a business than men. Do you want to know how to achieve your goals and become successful? If so, the information I will share with you now will help you on your journey to success. I will share my journey from where I was to where I am today and how I learned from it all. Life wasn't always peaches and creams. I had a lot of obstacles to endure. At the age of five, I had an ear infection and I had a virus. And then one night my mom heard a gurgling sound from my room. She came in to check on me and she saw that my lips were turning blue and I was in a grand mal seizure. She had me rushed to the hospital and they found that the virus had turned into encephalitis and had traveled to my brain. They induced me into a coma and they told my parents, if I come out of this, I'll probably be paraplegic or have severe brain damage. My father, who came from Greece, was visualizing a statue in front of his church where teardrops used to roll from the statue's eyes. He was praying that I would be okay. And when he finished praying, he looked up, a teardrop rolled from my eye. I opened my eyes and the first thing I asked for was McDonald's french fries. I wasn't paraplegic and I didn't have severe brain damage, but I did have epilepsy. And life was like a roller coaster to say, say the least. When I got to college, it was very difficult. The late night study and the stress of getting good grades, my seizures increased. And at some point I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to graduate. I was frustrated, I felt hopeless, and I didn't know what to do. I wrote an article to the Epilepsy Foundation. They have a magazine that they sponsor. I asked them to publish the article and I asked them, how do people with epilepsy cope with their disorder? How do they get through life? And to my surprise, three to 400 letters came from all over the United States and Canada. I was inspired by them. They taught me so much, these letters, and they made me feel like I wasn't alone. I was able to graduate college. I actually landed a corporate job in New York. I was living the life. I was even getting picked up by a limo in the morning. And then one day I felt a funny feeling and I saw that a seizure was gonna come. I could feel it. So I was looking around and trying to find a spot where I could have the seizure where no one would see me, but there was nowhere to go. So I ended up falling on the floor and having the seizure. I was conscious, but I couldn't move. I remember a producer just walked right over me and kept walking. I was like in shock. I couldn't believe this guy just stepped over me and didn't even help me. 30 minutes later, a co-producer came over and said, Stacy, I'm so sorry, but you don't meet the qualifications. We're gonna have to let you go. I knew that I met the qualifications and I knew they were letting me go because they saw me have the seizure but I didn't let it get me down. I walked out of there with my head up high and I said, one day I will be a success. So I decided to open my own business. I started doing freelancing at first, did a lot of research and writing for people. I met this herbalist and he had me do a lot of research for him. And he asked me to write about it. So as I was learning about all this stuff, I said, wow, some of this stuff could help me. So I started applying it to my own life. And my seizures went from 12 to nine, six, five, four, three, two, one, to being controlled. I said, wow, if this could help me, could you imagine what it could do for everybody else? So I always wanted to write a book with those letters that I was telling you about. So I finished writing the book. I put the letters in there. I talked about the regiment, the life I, le I lived that helped me control my seizures and actually made bestsellers. People were intrigued. It helped them. I was getting letters, people thanking me. And then one day I went into my email box and I found a letter and the person said they were on the verge of suicide, but
but they saw my they saw my book in Barnes and Nobles and they followed the regiment and it gave them the will to live that's when the light bulb went off I realized how powerful the words of wisdom could be so then I made it my passion my purpose in life to help others that's where I started my business and that's where I started my journey nothing was going to stop me from being a success I was committed and I was going to do anything it took to be a successful woman now here are 10 real takeaway action tips that could apply immediately to your life to help you achieve the goals that you need to succeed the first thing is being committed commitment is key to success commitment means doing what you say you will even when it's hard it's not giving up when things get tough or putting your goals on hold because other things in life that may be more important commitment means being consistent with your efforts over time so that one day soon all those small steps forward add up into some one giant leap towards achieving what seemed impossible before now becomes possible within reach and then some commitment is a daily choice that must be made regardless of how often we fall off track during our journey toward our goals but this doesn't mean that we should give up hope and stop trying altogether I can't even tell you how many times that I felt like when I took one step forward I got knocked back two steps but I didn't stop I didn't let it get me down I kept moving forward no matter how many times I got knocked back down I refused to get up give up now learning from the journey this is important we need to learn as we journey down the road to becoming a successful woman the first thing we need to do is learn from our mistakes your mistakes can be a great source of knowledge if you're willing to look at them objectively if you want to learn how to become successful be open-minded enough to accept feedback and criticism without taking it personally you should always spend time reflecting on what went wrong so you won't repeat those mistakes the next time being able to accept constructive criticism is probably the best thing that ever happened to me because I can't tell you how many times I made mistakes people gave me constructive criticism I may not always liked what I heard but I learned from their suggestions from them pointing out certain things and I was able to not repeat those mistakes and I was able to improve myself and my business as well learn from the success of others the best way for anyone who wants to achieve something in life is by learning from other people's experiences then applying those lessons to in their own lives as much as possible for example if someone has achieved something similar or better than what you achieved especially me then I want to go out of my own life and figure out what that person's doing what their secrets are because I want to achieve success too because those secrets could work for me too now I have plenty of mentors and I used to watch not only what they did but I would study them from when they started the business to where they are now what are they doing what changes are they making how do they write things how do they say things what words do they use what te techniques do they use what kind of marketing strategies do they have I'd study all this and I would learn from others who are were far ahead of the game than I was because obviously for them to be so far ahead they must be doing something right now having fun along the way this is also very important a lot of times we use our own businesses and our own careers and we treat them as our babies and we focus so much on the business or the job that we get burnt out now how can you do a good job 
when you feel completely drained, that your brain is frazzled, your body's frazzled, and you don't have a drop of energy to do what you need to do in order to be a success. So having fun along the way is important. It's a time to renew yourself. It's a time to make yourself free from all the stresses of life. Now, having fun is essential. As you work hard to achieve your goals, it's easy to forget the critical person, yourself. Don't neglect to take time out. It's crucial to take time out for yourself. Don't forget, don't let anything get in the way of having fun. Now, thinking positively. You can be successful and achieve your goals. You just have to think positively. Think about the benefits of achieving your goals and how they will help you become a better person. Imagine what it would feel like if you achieved all your dreams and think about the people who are dependent on you to achieve them. I am so big when it comes to the power of positive thinking. Get that negativity away from you and focus on the positive. And positivity and the energy of positivity will help you go a long way in life. Now, changing your perspective. The most important thing you can do is to change your perspective. Don't let small things get you down. Don't let your past dictate your future. And focus on the present moment rather than worrying about what might happen in the future or regretting something you had already happened in the past. Some of the biggest quotes that I always say to people over and over again is the past is the past. We cannot change the past. We can only focus on the present, create goals for the future, and then work towards those goals to have a productive and successful life. Don't take things personally either. This is important because so many people get caught in thinking that somebody's actions are about them when they're just about themselves. By being optimistic, this will help you stay motivated and keep going when things get tough, which they will. And be honest with yourself. You, you can be, this is like a very critical and crucial step in the process. How can you work on your weaknesses if you don't know them? If you don't know your strengths, how will you use them to succeed? You must also be honest about what type of person and lifestyle works for you. Everyone has their own goals and their own priorities. Some people want a family. Some people want to travel. Some people want to do both. It depends on the individual's needs and desires, as well as their personal preferences when it comes down to making decisions like these. So be honest with yourself. Honest. Being honest will help you be able to focus on yourself and pick out the bad things, fix them, and move forward. And then focus on your strengths and use them to move forward as well. Now, distractions. Oh boy, I'm a victim of this myself. There's so many times I'm a multitasker. So there's so many times I'm doing one thing, then I'm doing another thing, then I'm doing another thing. Then I cross the internet. I see something interested. I start reading it. And before you know it, the day goes by and you say, what did I do? What did I get accomplished? Time management. You need to sit down and focus on what you're going to get accomplished that day. Whether it be one thing, two things, three things, whatever. Write some goals and objectives down and focus on accomplishing them. Some of the biggest mentors say, if it's not going to make you money, don't bother doing it. It's a waste of time and time is money. Now count on yourself. You can't rely on others for your success. If you want to succeed and achieve your goals, you need to count on yourself. You can't depend on other people or things for your happiness and satisfaction. You should never be afraid also of asking for help when it's needed. And sometimes the best way to get help is by asking for it 
when it isn't even necessary. It's important because it shows that you are willing to work hard and give others the opportunity to show their compassion and generosity in return, which everyone loves. And keep planning. Don't give up. Don't be afraid of change. Even if it means letting go of what you've worked for in the past and trying something new, or even be doing something that's a little bit of uncomfortable to you. Don't get discouraged if something doesn't work out. Learn from your mistakes and move on. And don't be afraid to take risks. Fear is the root of all our problems. So if you can learn how not to be afraid and how to have more confidence in yourself, you will achieve your goals much faster than as you can see. Achieving your goals and success so you can live the life that you deserve is not as complicated as you might think. With some dedication and determination, you can achieve anything. Thank you.